And as we gather ourselves here together amongst our brothers and our sisters, uh, we ask that you would meet our needs in this hour. Uh, we know that many come for different reasons, but we come to the right source, which is Jesus the Christ. You're the one that died for us over 2,000 years ago at Calvary's cross. And we esteem you to be important today. Now we ask, Lord God, that you see us like no one else can. Every created being is naked before you and even have manifest itself before you. Now we pray that you would take away all the distractions that we we want to hear you, Lord. I pray that you would hide me behind Calvary's cross and let them not see me, but have your people to see you through your word. And I pray you would give us ears to hear, eyes to see, and a heart to receive. I pray your anointing upon me from the crown of my head to the very soles of my feet. Uh, Lord, I thank you even now, and I pray that you would speak through these lips of clay and let them declare your truth and nothing but your truth. And I pray, Lord, that every agenda from the enemy would be confused even now. And it would go back to the pits of hell from whence it comes from. And Lord, we thank you, Lord. And I pray that the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart will be acceptable in your sight. For you are our strength and our redeemer. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen and amen. Well, it's good to be here once again. The Bible tells us to esteem this opportunity to be important. Forsake not the assembly of ourselves, uh, exhorting one another. As that time and opportunity is drawing near. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, so we thank the Lord for allowing the church to come together once again. And I want to share with you one of the messages from the seven churches that the Apostle John had received to give to the churches. And I believe that this is relevant. This particular message is relevant for the time and age that we are living in. And here it is now that that he said unto the angel, which is the which is the pastor or the or the messenger uh -huh, of the church in Sardis, he said to write these uh, uh, these things. And he goes on to say that he that have the seven spirits of God and the seven stars is in God's hands. Now I want to. Uh, serve notice to that his messengers and his uh, his elders his his ministers uh, he says he have them in his hands and it, it, it denotes authority y'all it denotes a uh, 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 control uh, not as we see it as in this world because uh, uh, as my sister says sometimes men think that they are playing us, and but that's all right because as long as we are being obedient to God, you can call it whatever you whatever you choose to call it. Come on, somebody. Uh, so so that doesn't really matter. God wants our obedience more so than our sacrifice. He he said, if you love me, you will obey my commandment. That will be your desire. That will be your appetite to. To, to obey me. Amen. And he said, now, I have the stars. I, I have, a, amen, the seven spirits. Seven spirits mean the fullness of the, of the Holy Spirit in, in his hands. The stars are, uh, is the messengers uh, to his people. Uh-huh. Uh, the, the, the stars are not greater than the one that gives the message. Uh huh. The, the angel is not greater than the one that will speak to the angel. Come on, somebody. John said it well when he said, "Behold, the Lamb of God, Amen, that taketh away the sin of the world." Who well, I'm not even worthy to 
to, to lace his sandals, but uh, he, 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 he said, I must decrease, uh, uh, and he must increase. I uh, come to tell you, y'all, we've got to be, we've got to decrease if we want the greater one to increase. Uh, yes, we, we only plant and we only water, but there's one greater than us that can give up uh, uh, the increase. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. So, so here it is now. He, he said these things that he that have uh, the seven spirits of God and the seven stars of amen in his hands. And he goes on to say that he says now, uh, I, I know that he works and that's something that's, that's a common thing that he said to all the churches. And we can understand that. He said, I, I, I know your motives. In other words, I, 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 I know what's genuine and I know what's not genuine. I, I know if you are a man pleaser or if you come to please me. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. He said, I, I know you like man don't know you, but I know you. Come on, somebody. And, and you, you, you know, we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus. Uh, amen. Ordained to pray for the good works. I'm not talking about the works of the world, but I'm saying that good for we, we, we are his masterpiece, y'all. It's all about the artist. And, and he looks at his work and he sees that it works. Uh, amen. is admirable. And he, and he looks at it and says, that, that's my masterpiece. Yeah, yeah. Don't you know God looks at the church and he says, now, amen, that's, that's my masterpiece created yeah. in my son. In Christ Jesus, y'all. And I, I, I like that, y'all, because uh, amen, man looks at us uh, different from the outward appearance, but God looks at our heart. Come on, somebody. Amen. Only the pure in heart uh, shall see the Lord. Uh -huh. The pure in heart shall see the Lord. Amen. And see, here in this church here, it, 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 was, a, it, it was a church that was a Dead and we find it was uh, it was completely lifeless, y'all. Uh, you know that that that's that's scary, y'all. To to be in a dead church, a, a church without life, because that's far uh, 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 that's far away from Jesus. Because what Jesus Jesus is, there is life. So for this church to be lifeless, uh, meaning they strayed away from the one that can give you life. Yeah, every every person that Jesus touched, uh, uh huh. I mean, he gave life to. Amen, somebody. Uh, and remember that coffin when he he touched that coffin, they would have a procession. They would have a they would have a funeral when Jesus touched. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, uh, that person became alive. Uh, Y'all not hearing what I'm saying? Yeah? Uh, uh, Jesus gives us life. Uh, the words that Jesus speaks, they are spirit and they are life. Uh, come on, somebody. The, the words, uh, the words, uh, amen, uh, gives us hope. Give us strength. Give us encouragement. It, it shows us beyond the day that we're living in, and it, and it shows us a, a, a better day. Come on, somebody. I know we you know when our loved ones, they are not with us, but they are, they transition. That's how I like to call it. A transition over into a better place. Come on, all of us want to transition. Amen. To this uh, better place, y'all. Come on, put your hands together for Jesus. Uh -huh. Ah, ah, that a, a church that had strayed away, a church that was uh, satisfied, a third, a church that had gotten complacent, uh, a church that had was well, the idleness had, had set in, and that's dangerous, y'all, because uh, uh, it, it, it lets us know that uh, the preaching of Jesus was was minimal. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but if Jesus said, if we, he is lifted up from the earth, he would draw all those souls. It's nothing good about Jesus. Uh, ain't nothing good about Jesus, y'all. Man is dead. Amen. So he was saying they were, they, they had got to a place where they were headed to spiritual, amen, death. 
Aha. And they, they, they rested on his laurels and past history. Come on, somebody. And so it, it pictures the church that had a reputation uh -huh, that was respected by the community. The media knew them. Everybody knew all of them. But, but it still, Jesus said, it was dead and it was lifeless. Uh-huh. Yes. 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 Uh-huh. Uh, again. That's a dangerous place for a church to be. It's an accomplishment. You see, Jesus' churches are is all about going forward. Jesus will never take you backwards. Never take you backwards, but Jesus will take you forward. And if you're in a church where you're not going forward, amen, it's because Jesus is not, amen, at the center of the church. He's no, he's no longer the cornerstone of the church. Come on, somebody. Amen. And that's how the church can start to die out. Uh-huh. Yeah, but, but here it is now that uh, uh, it had history. I wonder how many churches have a history uh -huh, of, uh, of doing uh, uh, good works. Uh -huh. it, it's not about yesterday, it's about today. Come on, somebody. It's about today, y'all. Amen. So, so here it is, seven spirits. Amen. It talks about completeness. It talks about fullness. Uh, uh huh. Seven now. Uh -huh. The fullness of, of the Holy Spirit. Meaning, uh, Amen. It's not that they are they, they are separate. Uh -huh. They're inseparable. Uh -huh. Glory be to God. Now the same church that the, the same Spirit that will work in the believers, uh, His presence should be here at True Believers. Yeah. If we are going to get anything done, yeah. is anybody going to get delivered? Uh -huh. Is anybody going to get healed? Glory be to God. Now, now it says that, uh, he said, now, you know, I know thy works, and thou has a name that thou livest, but, uh, but thou art dead. That, that's what the text says, y'all. I mean, it's almost talks about a reputation. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and, and I believe that one time this particular church, amen, they, they, were, they were moving by the Spirit, but Somewhere, maybe something came, amen, to, to, to block, amen, their vision. Maybe we're living in a time now where something is upon the land, amen, that throws a person off the true love. Come on, somebody. You know, so, 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 so you started off good. Amen. You remember the book of Galatians and Paul said, now, you know, who have bewitched you? Amen. You started off good now, but, but something, someone came into your life and, and threw you off. Uh-huh. He said, no. He said, Yo, your, your name was good, not today, but it was in the past. Uh-huh. But you, but a lot of folks are looking at you, amen, and say, now you live, but I say you're dead. You got a reputation. Make it the folks in the community. Amen. Saying that you live, but, but it ain't about what they said. Jesus said that you're there. And if Jesus said that there's no life in this church now, that means that I would to hear Jesus in the middle of the folks. Here it is now. Here it is. It comes to my. It, it comes to the subject of this text. It said now. He said, be watchful and, 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 and strengthen. He said, be watchful. The title of this message, message is, watch and strengthen. Watch and strengthen, y'all. You know, you know it, it, that, that, that's everything, y'all. Watch. The church should be watching, y'all. You, you, you need to... You, you need to walk. Look, look what it says now here. It, it says, that, remember Jesus gave said to you to the disciples, he said, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation, for the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. The Bible said, be sober, be vigilant. Your 
adversary, the lion, is, is roaming about and, and they're seeking who we may about. The church is, is got to be watchful. Come on, somebody. That, that should be part of your nature. Don't just be taking in everything. Come on, somebody. Now, you know, when you're a spiritual man, and then a spiritual woman that understands all things. You should understand that the message is not about Jesus anymore, but it's about other things. Uh-huh. Yeah. And he says in Mark 13, 37, what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Watch. Uh-huh. To uh, watch is to observe. Uh-huh. To, to, to watch is to uh, make sure everything is lined up with his, uh, with his word. That is to watch. Uh-huh. Watch and pray. That's what Jesus told his disciples that you will not be into to uh, enter into temptation. You better be watching. You better amen. Watch what Pastor William just said. And the Pastor William goes off. Come on, somebody. You, you, you should receive it. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Uh-huh. First out. First. Colossians says, Corinthians said, now, it said, watch ye and stand fast in the faith. I said, watch ye, stand fast in the faith. Amen. Watch ye and stand fast in the faith. Yeah. Many, many texts tell the children of God to be watchful. Uh-huh. Be watchful. Because if you are not sober, if you are not vigilant, anybody can put anything to you. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. And that's what happened, y'all, when this church is started. They were not. But he said, watch it. And so you can't strip it. See, you can't strip it if you are not observing. And the spirit that lies in you, amen, can observe that it is in you. I uh have -huh. to keep them in prayer, but put it in the you. We can try the spirit, put it in the end you. That's being a watchful, watchful believer. Come on, repeat the God. I watch it because we're in a time that we're in a day. Strip, watch, and strip it. Uh huh. That remain. Uh huh. It, it says, watch. And strengthen the things that, that remain. Uh -huh. So, so now the West thing, uh, uh, look at this. What is the council? The council is that there's something that's getting ready to die out in your life. There's something that's getting weak concerning you, concerning your faith. He first tells the church to watch because Jesus is not that, amen. He's not that, amen. Just Speaking it so you can stay in the same place. He wants you to be aware. See, you cannot get help. At first, you see what the problem is. And when you watch it, and when you start to examine, you can only, you, you, can, you can't strengthen anybody except you first, first watch and examine so you can ask God. Uh huh. That part of my head to come to himself. He got to know that it was his disobedience. It was his lawful things. It was his, it was his uh, desire to go out among the world. So he had to get to a place. He had to come to himself, y'all. Watch it and strip it. You used to be excited about Jesus. Nobody can tell you anything else. Amen, somebody. You were so excited. About Jesus? Yeah. Uh huh. But, but, but why is it bad out now? Yeah. Amen. Amen. He says something in your life. Everybody in here today, everybody that's viewing me, you need to you need to observe. You need to watch. You need to examine yourself to see if there's some things in your life that, that you can strengthen, that you can come to God and say, Lord, Amen. I'm getting a little slight concerning this area in my life. Come on, somebody. Amen. Yeah, you got you know what. what when the church get too complacent, yeah. it usually happens with people that have been saved for a while. Yeah. That normally what happens. Lethargy. Idleness sets in. Uh-huh. 
and comfortable. J J Jesus' ministry is is progressive. It should carry carry you forward. While you think you don't need certain things in your life, Amen. If the Bible tells us to be receive the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Don't you know the word still will grow you up? Uh huh. But, and that's what he said. Watch and strip them. I mean, it's not out. That part, you still got a power, right? You don't have that pain, but you got a power, right? Yeah. You didn't say that he left you, told him to left you. But he, he, he told him the church. I mean, amen. He said now, amen. A lot of people are taken astray. But you know what? Things have a way of revealing the truth yeah. in you. You really wasn't in the church good before all of this thing happened. You weren't, you weren't there. You weren't in there. Come on, somebody. Uh-huh. But he says that that seed is still planted in you. Uh-huh. But you got to acknowledge it before God can help you. You got to acknowledge that thing is getting deep in your life before God can help you. Come on, somebody. He doesn't want the sinner trying to get saved. He got to just recognize that he's sick. Come on, somebody. That he's a sinner. That he's a sinner. That he's a sinner. And I come to tell the people of God that he's a sinner. And what is going on? Just repeat it. That you have problems. That he's a sinner. 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 That
I deny Jesus. You can call me what you want to call me. You can call me a holy roller. You can call me crazy. Come on, somebody. But my God doesn't look at me the way you look at me. Because the church has got right to me. The church is where the presence of God is. Come on, somebody. The church is where I got healed. The church is where I'm growing up. Come on, somebody. But I need God's word. It's better. Oh, 
Jesus is the God that he said. Great is his faithfulness. Lord, if God said he would keep the people of God, if God said he would keep the people of God, if God said he would keep the people of God, if God said he would keep the people of God, come on, somebody. He means what he says, and he says what he means. He would like to church if you don't love your life, come on somebody. If you don't love your life, more than you want it, you don't choose it. He said, I know not the world, but the things in the world, but the love of the Father is not in you. I'm going to be like the Hebrew boys. What will all be? I'm going to be delivered from the world. If I leave this world, I'm going to be in a better place. I'm transitioning. I don't choose. Yeah. <laughs> 
Come on, somebody. Let's get translated. Let's take in Jesus to all those artillery. And I'm not talking against artillery. But if that's all you have, you're not going to survive. You need to have all you have. 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 Auxiliaries override Jesus, then the church has got problems. Uh -huh. The church has got problems then. Uh -huh. Because they had a reputation that nobody said from the beginning. You had a good name. Everybody recognized that they were in such and such church that you come on somebody because you have the thing. You don't tell the vision. You don't have the place. You do the newspapers. You come on somebody. You don't have the You have a great reputation that you got. But you got it. But you got it. I gave you Jesus. You better off have the best ministries that you can be in and having Jesus in the world. Amen, somebody. Amen. Uh huh. You got it. He said, You are dead. That's what Jesus said. Everybody up? Say, You're alive. You're dead. What you going to do now? He said, Repent. That's all he said. That's what Jesus said. Repent. He kind of told you away. Listen to me closely. Amen. And he's trying to throw you away. Jesus wants you to get back on track. Jesus wants you to acknowledge that you know somebody that you turned away from him. Then nobody can take you to heaven. Your reputation of what you're doing in the church means the people can't get you into glory. Come on, somebody. You got to repent. You got to turn back around. Do your first love. Come on, somebody. Back to your first love. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. I had a duty to be here. If no number came up, I had a duty to be here. Regardless. Uh-huh. But I thank God I got some faithful. I thank God that I got some faithful lovers of God. That I'm not Pastor Williams is not here by himself. Come on, somebody. If thou shalt not watch, and if there is no change, if you turn a deaf ear to what the Spirit is saying, is that I'll come upon you like a thief in the night. You mm hear -hmm. the words that Jesus said, nobody knows when the thief is coming. The thief can come at a time that you are not even looking for. You mm -hmm. ain't even somebody. He said, you ain't got all day to repent. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. If they want man still to work for him, man. Because no man that you shall be able to work. Come on, put your hands together with Jesus. Come on, somebody. Come That's what he's saying. Clearly, what he's saying. That I come with a feet. That he's saying that I can do this later. I can get this together later. Come on, somebody. He said, Get mine with my word. Come on, somebody. And the church has taken away. Uh huh. As a storm by an ocean. Uh huh. Amen. And it's headed what? This way. And your soul's not anchored in Jesus. So you're going to trip the way. Come on, somebody. There is a storm. Come on, somebody. And he's headed to the, to the church. Come on, somebody. And if you don't anchor your soul in here, you're going to trip the way. I said you're going to trip the way. Come on, somebody. You can't make time with time. You can never leave with time. Don't you understand? That you are transitioning into a pair of planes that you Come on, somebody. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying, if we are present, I 
all right. But you can be tired, it's all right with Jesus. You can come on, somebody. You know, there's no shame in death. The shame of death is sin. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm not here. Uh huh. You said, feel the man. Uh huh. Glory be to God. You feel the one that can cast your soul in heaven or hell. That's the one you should fear. You're coming in. Uh huh. And he's saying, if you shall not, he said, how thou hast received and heard and heard past. And he says, to repent, if therefore thou shalt not watch, amen, I'll take thee to my word, I will come on thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know what hour I shall come upon thee. Thou shalt not know what hour I shall come upon thee. You don't know your life and I'm making home to your farmhouse. I want to, uh, to drive your car off of this life. Oh, uh, yes, but he said it, I will come to you. In other words, don't delay. Get everything right with Jesus. Uh, well, Pastor, that's where my church grew. I will leave that church. Uh, come on, my soul is at uh, stake here. Uh, come on, somebody. I'll say it again. Uh, amen. If you're not giving me the words of life, uh, amen. I love you, but I can stop it. Amen, somebody. Uh, I love you, but I can't be. I can't be over uh, there. Amen. If I'm not being encouraged in the word, and if I'm not being strengthened in the word, you can be clear with me because I ain't got no personal grace yet. But I need to be saved. The words, amen, that gives me life. Come on, put your hands together with Jesus. I'm not going to let you be good to the ditch. I am not going to let you be good to the ditch. I ain't got nothing. I'll pray for you, but I ain't going to let you be good to the ditch. Come on, somebody. Uh, amen, somebody. God said, follow me as I follow Christ. Uh, come on, somebody. What did Pastor Wiggy do now? He didn't do that. Now, that would be something strange. Uh, and the book of faith preacher, uh, come on, somebody. Faith uh, that we have many to trust God. Uh, and that I can preach during the time of the Bible that we can to trust God. Uh, come on, somebody. Look to Jesus. Uh, you didn't say, wait a minute. But you look to Jesus and what he did for the year at Calvary's cross. Come on, somebody. We see the preaching of the cross. It is foolishness to those who perish or to the unbelievers. But it is the power of God or to salvation for the believers. Come on, put your hand together for Jesus. Uh -huh, I'm excited about Jesus. Are oh, you excited about Jesus? Oh, but what he's saying. Now, let's, 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 let's come in here. And he's saying, put up that. Ah, there is a. Uh, there are a few names. Uh -huh. There is a remnant. Uh, come on, somebody. There is a remnant uh, in this particular church uh, that have not defiled their garments. Uh, there is a few uh, that have not bowed to Baal. Uh, are you one of the few? Even though you may be in a dead and lifeless church, uh, uh, but God said, I can still see some of my people that love me. Uh, there is a few. Uh, Oh, come on, somebody. Oh, that is a sign. Amen. If you don't preach Jesus, I go home and preach Jesus. I call on Jesus. You need to stay away. I was just singing my praise song to myself. Come on, he said, now I can still carry that song in the church of sorrow. In the church of real living. Are you one of the faithful? Are you one of the faithful? There will be faithful to God. Uh, that you know God keeps you away from all evil. Uh, that God keeps you away from all sickness and disease. Uh, can you trust God today uh, and not go all the glory uh, to man? Uh, for God I live uh, and for God I will die. Uh, the way God uh, loves Jesus today. Uh, is there really God uh, will lift up his name? Uh, is there anybody uh, that will say, for well, Jesus I live, uh, and for well, Jesus I die, uh, that have not the power their garments, uh, and I believe God uh, wants you to be encouraged today, uh, 
And Father, we thank you right now. I thank you for all of us, all those who are listening right there, right now. As you say to the church of Sardis, you say, watch and strengthen. Strengthen those things that remain and are about to die. Thank you. Lord, you know, and they know in their heart because they're getting that conviction to call on you, to recognize what it is. Maybe they're going through a hardship. Maybe it's a family member. Maybe they got to go through a decision in their life right now. But Lord, you love them so much. And if they will call on your name right now, you will work it out for them. So I pray that you will do it for them right now. If they call on Help them to return back to their first love. Maybe they're not getting it. Maybe the church is affecting them. Not coming to church is affecting them. This place is open. These doors are open for them to come and fellowship. True deliverance. And Father, we thank you that you will supply their need. Right now, do it for them. As we pray and ask for that special blessing for them. You say if they will repent, you say that they will be an overcome. They will come back as the part of God to come to himself. Yeah. And we believe that it's already done. Yeah. It's in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We love you in Jesus' name. Yeah.